principle of gram staining, one of the most important and widely used differential staining technique in microbiology, this technique was introduced by Christian Gram in 1884, in this process the fixed bacterial smear is subjected to the following staining reagents in the order listed, crystal violet, iodine acetone, alcohol which uses decolorizing agent, finally use safranin or some other suitable counter stain, bacteria stained by the Gram method fall into two groups, these are gram-negative bacteria and gram-positive bacteria. Gram-positive bacteria retain the crystal violet and hence appear deep violet in color. Gram-negative bacteria are stained in pink color. Let's see the does this procedure stain some bacteria purple-violet and others red. The most plausible explanation for this phenomenon are associated with the structure and composition of the cell wall. Differences in the thickness of cell walls between these two groups may be important. The cell wall of gram-negative bacteria are generally thinner than those of gram-positive bacteria. Gram-negative bacteria contain a higher percentage of lipid than do gram-positive bacteria. Experimental evidence suggests that during staining of gram-negative bacteria, the alcohol treatment extract the lipids which result in increased porosity or permeability of the cell wall. Thus the crystal violet iodine complex can be extracted and the gram-negative organism is decolorized. These cells subsequently take on the color of the safranin counter stain. The cell walls of gram-positive bacteria, their cell walls consist of different composition and lower lipid content easily become dehydrated during treatment with alcohol. The pore size decreases, the permeability is reduced and the crystal violet iodine complex cannot be extracted, therefore these cells remain purple violet. There is an another explanation somewhat similar is also based on permeability differences between the two groups of bacteria. In gram-positive bacteria, the crystal violet iodine complex is trapped in the wall following ethanol treatment. Ethanol treatment causes a diminution in the diameter of the pores in the cell wall peptidoglycan. Wall of gram-negative bacteria have a very much smaller amount of peptidoglycan which is less extensively cross-linked than that in the wall of gram-positive bacteria. The pores in the peptidoglycan of gram-negative bacteria remain sufficiently large even after ethanol treatment to allow the crystal violet iodine complex to be extracted. These two explanations are not mutually exclusive, and it is likely that both may contribute to the explanation of the mechanism of the gram stain. Furthermore, if gram-positive cells are treated with lysozyme to remove the cell wall, the resulting structures called procoplasts will be stained by the crystal violet iodine complex. However, they are easily decolorized by alcohol. Therefore, cell wall structure of gram-positive bacteria is the site of retention of the primary stain. Although gram-negative organisms consistently fail to retain the primary crystal violet stain, gram-positive organisms may sometimes show variations in this respect. Gram-variable reaction. As an example, most of time's old culture of gram-positive bacteria lose the ability to retain the crystal violet and hence will be stained by the safranin. If you are interested in my video creation, like this video, feel free to give your comment. Please subscribe us on YouTube.